shout out to Nails Corner. You get the secret emoji shout out for using the secret emoji in your comment. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing this really easy, really simple butterfly look. You're going to need that black polish, the nail art brush, the blue and pink polish or whatever color, your poly gel brush, and 100% acetone nail polish remover. I got that from Five Below, but you can get it from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I'm using the nail set from my last video, so go check that out. Now I'm going to take the black polish and my nail art brush and I'm going to just do alignments and measurements um, for where I want my butterfly to start and when I want it to end so it'll be even. I cleaned off that brush in the nail polish remover and I'm going to take this pink polish and do an outline. By the way, all the polish that I'm using I got from Dollar Tree. So go to Dollar Tree and get some polish. Save your money. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take the nail art brush and I'm going to dip it in the polish not too far and I'm going to just kind of align line out how I want the shape of my butterfly now this part does not have to be perfect because I'm going to outline it um soon so yeah just do the shape of your butterfly how you want it and then you're going to fill that in see me flip my hand and be at a different angle from the camera because I'm making sure that it's all even and they all match up at the same point and if it doesn't that's fine you can either go over it again and make sure they match like I did right here or you can um, take some nail polish remover and just um, brush it away till they align with each other you finish with the shape you want you want to fill it in and you want to kind of do it a little fast because it is regular nail polish so it's drying as we're working and you don't want it to get sticky while you're still trying to work with it so do it as fast as possible so it won't be bulky it won't be thin it'll be even mine was a little lumpy so yeah learn from my mistakes Also, by the way, this whole video, I had to speed it up so it's not in real time. If it was in real time, this would have been a 41 minute video and none of us want that, to be honest. None of us want that. So just keep that in mind. I'm not moving this fast. It's, it's all at a faster speed. Now I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing that I did with the pink polish with the blue polish for my butterfly. Now I passed my measurement line but I made sure that I kept it even on both sides. Like I figured out where I drew and I made sure to do the exact same thing on the other side. I kind of mess it up at the end of the blue wing but don't worry about that too much because again like I said we're going to outline it. So what you also want to do before you fill in the blue one since I went over my measurement line I'm going to take some acetone nail polish remover and wipe away that black line and then I'm just going to fill in the blue part.
Now while we're waiting for the polish to dry, which you want it to dry all the way, don't rush it. If you have the time, don't rush it. But while we're waiting for it to dry, we're just going to take away those measurement lines using acetone nail polish remover and your poly gel brush. And you're also, if you want to, I mean you don't really have to, but if you want to, you're going to shape up your wings. I wanted to shape up my wings just so, I guess, so I wouldn't have to do it later and it wouldn't be too much work for me to outline it. If your shapes aren't kind of the same, you can take the time now to make sure your shape of the wings are kind of similar, similar enough. Now, when you finish doing that, you're going to take the black polish again and your nail art brush, and you're going to outline the butterfly to kind of get shape and definition and to separate the wings and it's going to come out so pretty now this is really simple we're not going to do anything on the inside especially because we do have regular nail polish you can do regular nail polish but right now i just want it to be really easy really simple we're going to outline the wings and give more shape and definition to the wings this is my favorite part honestly Look at how sharp. Look at how crisp. Look at how sleek, y'all. Look at that line. Look at it. But this is why I did it. This is why I said don't stress if the edges of your butterfly aren't necessarily straight or neat because we're gonna we're gonna outline it. So this is your outline. If your edges aren't the way you like it, it's okay. If the end point isn't the way you like it, it's okay. You can just outline over it until you get it the way you like it. That's why I said don't too much focus on it being a really clean shape. I'm gonna repeat that on the other side make sure it's nice and even make sure they look identical enough if they don't look too identical I'm gonna get it close enough but I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and then correcting with my poly gel brush and acetone nail polish remover where I see I need to correct it
don't want to use too much nail polish remover because you don't want it to bleed everywhere because if you bleed everywhere especially with black nail polish it's gonna like stain and it's gonna get increases and you definitely don't want that This part, I had a whole concept, a whole vision in mind, and it just wouldn't work. It just would not work. I tried it three times, and this this concept, when I was just painting it on my fingernails, was just not coming through. So I just decided to scrap this. I, I didn't want to go with it anymore. I was just going to put some jewels on my fingers, because it just was not coming through. So I said, never mind, never mind. Now I'm going to take regular nail polish top coat and put that over the butterflies before I put my jewels on and I'm going to do two coats but you really 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 want to make sure the nail polish is completely dry before you do this. Now I was very impatient so I didn't wait for it to dry so you're going to see black streaks within my butterfly so wait until this completely dry to do your first coat and your second coat. I got these jewels off of Amazon. The big ones came in the box, the little ones didn't. I just had to put them in the box on my own, but I decided to use nail glue to put on these jewels and y'all Please use a brush on if you do. I was taking the lazy route and using this one and it was too much. It was too much. The glue was going everywhere. It was spilling and bleeding over. So eventually I had to use a toothpick to take the glue out of the bottle because I didn't want it to get everywhere. But when it did spill over, I just used, again, I used acetone nail polish remover and I was making sure I cleaned off my brush regularly so it wouldn't stick. But yeah, I just decided to do this design off the top of my head because my plan did not work out. <laughs> so I had to quickly think of something. So I decided to do um, a design down the middle with smaller beads in the middle and it's gradually going to bigger beads so yeah
you're gonna just put on your cuticle oil and rub it into your cuticles and that will be the end of the process if this was really really simple is really cute it's not too elaborate but i really did like it and i hope y'all liked it too go ahead and follow me on instagram like and share this video it helps a whole bunch subscribe and turn on your notifications but that's all y'all thanks so much for watching the video and all my other videos look out for the secret emoji but thank you guys bye y'all